think I just might start shooting some video in my car from now on because it's comfortable. There's good lighting, good audio, and I don't have to worry about shit. So I don't know. We'll just see. Like maybe I'll do pickups in my car only because I'm pretty comfortable doing that. But anyways, I just went to a vintage event with all of my friends at the uh, World's Worst Bodega hosted by Jameson and I think Casey Vintage on Instagram. I'll link everything. Uh, really fucking cool event. Everything was so well done. Like the venue was really nice. Music, vibe, like everything was solid. Um, it's really hot in my car. Uh, so... Yeah, everyone, like, I know all the people that are selling there, like, they're just really cool dudes, and, you know, I'm more than happy to go support them. I wish I could have bought something from every single one of them. I bought two pieces. One of them I technically bought. One of them I kind of just traded. So, um, yeah, a lot, and I even found someone that did, like, high-end, like, he had a bunch of junior pieces and stuff like that, so it was really cool. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to go over my pickups and go over all my friends that sold there. So, we have Finders Keepers, Kevin. Hurry up and buy vintage. Who's already uh, Billy Secondhand Selective, Allen Vintage, uh, Jesus Archive, I think, or Jesus Archive, something like that. Um, got Brian Peter Thriffin, Three Word Thrifts, Grant and uh, fuck, <laughs> Grant and Victor. Um, there's a lot of people. De La Pass Twins. Got Kevin Rowe for Fukuzo. Uh, I saw Kenny Thrifts there. He didn't sell, but he, he's just a cool cat. Uh, Casey Vintage. Uh, finder, I already said Finders Keepers, Kevin. But yeah, there's just so many people. There's so many people. I can't even name all of them, but really cool vibe. Anyways, I'm just going to get into pickups. I traded for this piece right here. This is a um, Carhartt vintage jacket, flannel lined. And I've never seen this flannel lining before, this like green, yellow, burgundy color. And that's why my friend Alan was selling this for 50 bucks. But I ended up trading him, doing a straight trade for some... John Paul Gaultier uh, foldable sunglasses, which I put right here. And then next up, I got a fucking steal. This is like an 80s Levi's jacket, which they think was dyed. I think they might have been right. I think it was dyed as well, because if you look at the tag on the inside, where's that bastard? This tag, the white starchy tag, is um, dyed green, and so is the original like Levi's tag right here. But it is indeed vintage. It is indeed very wide very boxy um just a super sick fit and i'll probably do like a b-roll of how they fit on as well just really excited to be able to pick up both of these and yeah i'm 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 really proud of everyone that sold there they did a great job really great curation of vintage goods and everything so uh, i think i definitely might partake in the next one if they let me or if not i'm still going to go to it because it's better than like literally they were right by saying it was the biggest NorCal vintage event. Crazy. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.